I'm a special guest on MacHeads 101. And this is going to be my fifth Java tutorial, and today I'm going to be talking about loops. So I'm not really going to be making like a program with you right now. I'm just going to be demonstrating loops, and then later we'll be making a program that involves loops. So um, in another tutorial though. So basically what a loop is, is it allows us to execute a certain block of code a certain number of times in a row. So the first one I'm going to show you is called a while loop. So to do this, you type while, and then you give it a condition. And by the way, I'm going to make a variable so I can actually test a condition. So I'll say in i equals zero. So well, i is less than 20, do this. And now, of course, since zero is less than 20, it's always going to be going. It's going to go indefinitely. But if I put i plus plus, which also always another way of writing i equals i plus one, that will add 1 to i every time the loop goes around. Which means eventually it will no longer be less than 20 and the loop will stop. Okay, so but while i is less than 20 it's going to do this and it's going to add 1 every time it loops so it's going to do this um, while well, i is 0 through 19. And I'm just going to print out i so now if I run this, it's going to print out the value of i each time it loops through, which was 0, and then looped again and added, and through 19. And I'll show you that i equals i plus 1 will do the same thing. And there we go, it does the same thing. So what that does is it's like i, let's say it's 0, equals 0 plus 1. So now it equals 1. Then it's going to loop through with it equaling 1. So that's the while loop. Now I'm going to make a for loop. And the for loop has three things in it. So that just had a condition for in i equals 0. So I can actually create the variables in here. And then my condition, i is less than, I'll just make it less than or equal to 20, semicolon i plus plus. And then system dot out dot print l, print ln i. So that would print, at, that would do the um, exact same thing, except, yeah, it goes up to 20 because I did equal to or less than. And that um, says in i equals 0, there's the condition, i is equal to or less than 20, and i plus plus, just like the last one. And um, I'm only going to be covering those two types of loops in this tutorial, but the last thing I want to mention is called um, a nested loop. So I'm just going to make um, two, one loop to demonstrate this, a nested loop is a loop in a loop. So what happens is, um, actually if I make it less than 20, it's gonna do this so long. I right, is less than five, and then a loop in a loop, I'll just call this int x equals zero, and as long as x is less than 20, x plus plus, right? And then just put nothing in there. Or actually, yeah, put something, print, um, x. So what this is going to do is every time it runs this loop, it's going to run this loop. So it's going to do this until x is um, 4, because that's 1 less than 5, and until x equals 4, it's going to execute this loop. So it's going to execute it once as, x equal, as i equals 0, as i equals 1, as i equals 2, as i equals 3, as i equals 4. And so you'll see it will execute it, um, this loop that number of times. See, there we go, and it did it again. All right, so those are nested loops, and I'm sorry if that I went a little fast. Um, I'll try to go slower in the next tutorial, but um, see you next time.